How did you lose 100 pounds, by the way? Uh, just Atkins, old really? school keto. Yeah. Great. I was just done. I was like 17. I was. It was a really weird car ride. I remember I was with my mom. We would drive cross country because she don't fly. I remember being like, can we do anything normal? I don't have a dad. Yeah. You don't fly. <laughs> Who gets pregnant at 43? You're 61. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. anything. Yes. I just remember we were like it, talking and fighting because that's what happens on a 3,000 mile car ride with two people. And she goes, you got to let go of that anger. That's not cute. She's like, and you're angry at your dad. And I'm like. Did you, what did you know about him at this point? Everything I just told you, it, that's it. Did he, was he dead by then? No. Had you gotten in contact with him? I never got in contact with him because I knew he had kids. And you didn't go to the him. doctor's office? <laughs> they had his number. You know they had his hey, number. I know, fucking HIPAA, man. <laughs> <laughs> at every turn. We think it's good. Um, yeah, I didn't. But I, to jump to that for a second i um i always felt like i had this emotional grenade that i knew that he had moved to florida because where else would no yep. you go and i was like you know if i ever want to blow up his life i can if i ever want to just show up on his doorstep and be like what the hell man i can't yeah but i just didn't want to were you but was your mom right about like carrying anger so that part yeah that i Clearly, because I remember it was like June and we drove to New York and we would spend the summers there. And uh, and I was like 290 pounds and I just would walk and I just started eating a little better and I would just walk the streets of the city dreaming about what my life was going to be. And if you were skinny or just... Yeah. Well, because... They were all, mostly skinny dreams. It was all skinny dreams. I only dream... In skinny. ...under 180. I dream at my goal weight. <laughs> Did, Six, but four, was it were you about was it about your career your life what or was it just about i'm i don't know what it's going to be but i'm not going to be fat yeah i i just well uh, uh, remember as well right this is 2002 yeah so we don't have seth rogan we don't have paul walter hauser right. we don't have um melissa mccarthy like yeah we don't Jonah, have these like yeah brilliant people who are like fuck the best friend and the bully i'm the one yeah. Right. So like up until that point, they're like, enjoy being relegated to these two things forever. Yeah. And don't even try. Like, yep. like almost people would, when I would talk about losing weight, they'd be like, oh, but why? Like they love you like yeah. this. And I just wanted to do more. I wanted to just have the chance to do other things. And, and in that summer, I remember I lost like 40 pounds in two months. And then over the next year, I took off like another 60 and I just felt like I was like beginning. And did it feel like uh, just a new chapter of your life? Yeah. And then you did the Wackness? And then I did the Wackness. Right. And yeah, it just Must have felt... been insufferable. Okay. <laughs> I was. I'm, I'm sure. I imagine, total. Um, yeah. I want to talk about the weight loss thing because you said something that haunts me. Oh no. I don't know if you remember saying it. I, we were talking about going to the beach or swimming or something. Yeah. You said maybe didn't take your shirt off, and I go, "Why won't you take your shirt off?" And you go, "Cause I ruin my body." <laughs> right? Is that? <laughs> please talk about that, because I've just never heard anyone say that. Yeah, I mean, it don't bounce back <laughs> once you get it past a certain. Can you get skin removal and all that stuff? Yeah, we all do. We're on a, all this big former biggies. We're on a group chat, but um, and we're comparing and contrasting plastic surgeons. But no, I did it all, and I'm great. Like, I don't want to sound ungrateful. Like, I, I, but there are just some things where I still look at like guys, even in their 30s. I love it now because like other dads my age are, are now starting to put on the weight. Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's just there are certain things that I, I you can't fix. So is it scarring? No, it's just kind of like uh, skin, hanging a little Got bit. It. A little, little skin. And there's just nothing you can do about it without significant you just get a while you're kind of trading like for a wild ass scar like a shark bite scar or like a little bit like it looks anatomical it's just like a little bit of skin either way people are gonna be like what's that right i just don't want that because people are pretty nice yeah especially like 
uh, you know, all bodies are beautiful. And like, I, I don't say that in a silly way. Like I find, I see people out and I just love, like I think one of the great things of the last decade has has been people really embracing like all body styles and realizing. And so when I see people out at the pool and whatnot, I'm like, I could whip my shirt off right now and feel right at home with the And come in like fourth place. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, but I just don't want the, hmm. I can't imagine someone doing that. They don't, well, they don't do it quite like that, but I see it, or at least I interpret it that way. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that, that I guess that's the... And I do it, but, you know, I don't do it often. What's the difference between drinking, using, and eating you and the guy now? What, you know what I'm asking? Like, what do you, what were you doing that you now go, I'm not doing that? Or is it so sort of you've been sober 16, 17 years and, you know, skinny or whatever you are, uh, 16, 17 years. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> yeah, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, you look you look healthy. Trim? Yeah, trim. Trim-ish. There you go. There you go. But athletic legs. Yes. No, of course. Thick, thick quads. Fuck. <laughs> Huge. And you have a great face and eyes, genuinely. God bless you yep. too. Um, take your shirt, cover your face, take your shirt off. <laughs> Make me feel bad about myself. I <laughs> got you. Um, but but what's the difference between that guy and this guy? As you were saying it, I'm like, how do I how do I think of a better answer than everything, everything and nothing? Like the essence of me, it uh, it it allowed the great parts of me to shine. Um, I've heard it said that if you get sober and you don't change anything about yourself, you'll just become a better bank robber. Right. You know. Yeah. And so, it there are no new ancient truths. So for me, getting sober was sort of like an intro. It was like my uh, cover charge for a spiritual life to do the good hard work that like we've learned over thousands of years is just part of the human experience. It's like the only thing that I found is is the, that free high, that currency in life. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.